Sister sê vir my, hoe lang slaap hy nou al? Vir drie weke, dokter. Drie weke? Gaan hy ooit wakker skrik? Ek weet nie, dokter. Hy hal van self asem. Sy bloeddruk en bols is stabiel. Technies lewe hy. Maar ons weet nie hoe kom hy nie wakker word nie. Dink dokter miskien Dink dokter miskien Lyk dit asof hy brein dood is. Ons sal moet toets daarvoor. Ja, dink so. Weet die gesin? Nee, dokter, hulle weet van niks af nie. Sister, wat gaan ons doen? Wat gaan ons vir die vrou sê? Sy sit al hier vir weke lang. Dokter, weet dat ek nie met die vrou oor hierdie saak mag praat nie. Dit sal my werk koos. Ek sê jammer. Maar dokter moet dit maar doen. Is dit die vrou wat daar sit? Ja, dokter. Sy verlaat nooit die kamer nie. Ek is baie bekommerd oor haar. Ok. Ok, ek sal nou met haar kom praat. Ek moet, ek moet... Ek moet net een bykie asem bed kan skep. Rig so, dokter. Mrs. Green, the doctor will come and speak to you shortly. Thank you so much, sister. Um, Mrs. Green, I've been meaning to ask you, are, are you okay sitting in here day in and day out? Um, what about your children? Oh, <laughs> no, we've never had any children. It was... It was always just the two of us, and and now I would prefer, with with your permission, of course, not to leave his side. Well, um, he's due for a bath now, so I would appreciate it if you could possibly wait in the waiting room. I promise, I promise I'll call you when he's done. Sister, could you please let me do it? I'd really like to do something for him, I feel. So useless sitting here. Are you sure? But Mrs. Green, you must be so tired. And what about your injuries? Oh no, don't worry about me. I'm very, very sure. I know that he knows that I'm here, so I'd prefer to be here so that he's not alone. Since the day we were married, we've always been there for each other, and I'm not about to leave him now. Especially not now that he needs me the most. Mrs. Green. Mrs. Green. He doesn't know that you're here. That's what you and the doctor think, but I know differently. I can't explain it to you right now, but but I know him. We have a connection beyond this carnal plane, and and I know, I just know that he needs me now. Look, I'll stay here for as long as you allow. I won't be any trouble, and I'll do whatever I can for him. Um, I just, I need to be here for him, 
please. Mrs. Green, I am worried about you. Thank you, sister. Thank you so, so much, but I'll be okay. As long as I'm with him, everything will be okay. He's really lucky to have you. <laughs> no. No, my dear. I'm very lucky to have him. I see you. This is Sister Gwyn. Hi, Doctor. Ja, sy is nog steeds daar saam met hom. N nee, ek het niks waar gesê nie. Nee, ek sê jammer, ek gaan nie waar sê nie, dis dokterse werk. Ek wil nie probleme met die verpleegraad heen nie. Nee, jy sal nie in die hof saam met my staan nie. Asjeblief, dokter. Doe nie dokterse werk en ek sal my nie doen, ne? So, dan sal sy nie weet nie en dit is onverantwoordelik van dokter. Sy dink dat hy haar kan hoor en weet dat sy nog daar met hom is. Ja, ek weet. Het is hartseer. Ja, sy is bezig om hom te was, so ek sal dokter Leikie gee wanneer sy klaar is, dat dokter weet, ne? Ok, tot ziens dokter. Nee, it's me. It's your darling wife. Look, I know that you can hear me. It's absolutely okay that you can't respond. Please don't stress about it. I know that you feel me with you. And I know that you will wake up. My love, it's been three weeks since our car crash. And you were hit quite badly and I was lucky to escape with only a few broken rib bones and extensive bruising. I was supposed to take all the force of the impact, but... Honey, you turned the car at the last second to take the impact and protect me. Oh, my darling. Honey, thank you. But you know that I would have gladly been in this bed in your place. You know that I will do anything for you. You know that. But this act of yours showed me how much you really do love me. So do they ever expect me to leave your side? These people, they have conversations over my head in, in your language, but they think that I don't understand, but, but thanks to you, my love, I've been learning your language. So, 
I know that they mean to tell me that you are brain dead, but I refuse to believe it. We have a special connection that they won't even begin to fathom. Darling, I know that this is going to hurt you, but but please, may I wash you? I'll be gentle, I promise. Please don't worry about anything. Everything at home is fine. I've asked Jane to look after the cats and... She sends me daily pictures and reports on how they're doing. I've saved everything, so when you wake up, I'll have a slideshow to show you. Aragorn is as greedy as ever, <laughs> and seems to be putting on weight every single day. I think when we leave this place, um, we should start thinking of an exercise routine for him. He'll be too heavy for me to pick up at this stage. Arwen, oh, she's just so as beautiful as ever. Temperamental as ever as well. You should have seen the picture that Jane sent of her last night. How blue her eyes looked. You could have swam in them so beautiful. Mm. Can you smell that? This body wash that I'm using on you, it smells like home. You can almost hear the waves of the ocean by smelling this. You have the most beautiful hands. I'll never forget the day when you first touched my face. Do you remember? Yes, before that moment I asked you never to touch me as I've always had an aversion to that. You took me to that beautiful botanical garden and oh, I was just venting about nonsense happening at work when you cupped my face in your hands and just staring into your beautiful eyes it just took all my stress away, you know, that was the moment right there that I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Speaking of which, gosh, darling, do you remember how long it took for you to ask me out? And how long it took for you to ask me to marry you? Yeah, you always asked why I was so patient with you. And why I never gave up on you and just moved on with my life. I had a very busy life. I still do. But why would I want to do that, my love? I've only ever wanted you. And even now, don't you think for a second that I am going to leave you. Even if they put me out of your room, I will sleep in the passages if I have to, in the parking lot if I have to. 
If they banish me from the grounds, I will sleep outside the main gate if I have to. But I will never leave you. And I will never desert you. Darling, I will always be your little puppet. And I will always love you. Always and forever. Beyond my dying day. I promised this to you since the beginning. And I always keep my My love for you grows ever stronger. Every single day that passes. And I will never stop loving you. Mrs. Green, I'm so sorry to bother, but if you have a moment, um, Dr. Christine would like to have a word, please. Thank you, sister. I'm just finishing up here. Um, I'll be out in a second. Actually, That's okay. Dr. Christine said that she'll see you in here. Oh, no, sister. Thank you. But no. Please. No negativity around my husband. Fine. Um... I'll, I'll meet you outside, Mrs. Green. Thank you, sister. Thank you so, so much. Darling, I'll see you in a few minutes. I want you to remember something for me. I want you to remember that no matter what happens, no matter what happens, I will always love you. And I will always cherish you. And darling, I will always adore you. And I will never, I will never leave your side. No matter what happens, I'm always your little puppet, okay? Now and forever. <laughs> 